I'm going to show you how to create this hero banner. Notice how we have like an overlay going on and a person of interest. This is the background and the background overlay. And it's a really cool way of how you can direct the attention onto a focal point. And I'm going to show you how to do that and make it work for the mobile right now. Our journey begins in Canva. This is the image which will be our hero banner. And here's the person of interest. You know, maybe they're a lecturer, a speaker, it's a conference, something like that. So imagine you've got like a hero banner where the image is quite busy. You can get some images where you have a person of interest and you have a lot of what I call dead space where you can easily put your words in and the words are not fighting against uh, the contents of the image. But here we've got a lot going on. And if you were to put white words on here, you wouldn't see it. If you put black words on here or even dark words, again, they're going to start fighting with the people on the scene. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing I did was make a copy of this image like that. And what I've done is remove the background. The copied image, I have slightly, whoops, I've slightly blurred it a little bit and I've saturated it or desaturated it almost in a way so that it's now more of a grayscale. And then I've taken the person over here, stripped away the background and just planted them on top there. Because you will come to see why having a color background can still get some of the items to bleed through, like focus on that blue folder. So by grayscaling, it works better. The second thing I did was to then create this. So what I did was I took a copy of the a background image as it is, and I pasted it here. I mean, I've just moved it all the way to the back. And you can actually see what I've done there. I then added in some rectangles and I've, I've used color rectangles so that you can see where I've placed it. And it's okay to overlap. You can see here I've overlapped. It's okay to do that because if you don't overlap, Canva does sometimes have a really microscopic thin line that you will see when you move it over. And I don't want to have any of those lines bleeding through. To overlap is fine. And I've overlapped it to be in such a way so that you can see the person and everything else is covered. Let me just get rid of that. Then what I did was I then made all of those rectangles white. So if I do this, you can still see all the rectangles. One, two, three, four. The middle of this, I mean, look, you can click in the middle and just hit delete as many times as you want. That is a transparent background now, okay? There's nothing in there. What I then did was basically download image two, image three, and image four as a PNG, and then I used bulkresizephotos.com to convert them into WebP. Make sure you add those images into your media library. Now, the images I am going to use, I will be reusing again when we get to the mobile. But for now, let's just add in the three original images. Now, let's go over to our page. We've got a container here. And at the moment, this parent container, I've just set it to be about 670 in height. You could adjust it to be what you want to be. Obviously, you know, bear in mind your image and what you're trying to convey. The width I'm going to leave is a 1140 and it's a boxed width. Now in here, I've gone and added in like a major big header. This is a trans, this is actually black, or it's, or it's a, almost a very dark, almost close to off black, 22222. But I've added in a bit of transparency into it just so you can see some of the imagery behind. And I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be like the, the, like the main thing that you focus on. I want you to kind of be looking at this. So it's there, but it's shaded back a bit. Typography of it is a seven REM. We've got another uh, uh, almost like a header. This would probably contain your keywords like consultant, leadership, stuff like that. 2.5 REM over here. We've got a 1.3 REM and we have a button down here, which I think is a one REM. Now, we are. I am going to revise the sizes of this when we get to the mobile, but the focus of this is the imagery. Right. Let's go and add in our background image. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to go and pick our colored image first. So you can literally see now the problem. You've got all of that going on. And what we tended to do was, okay, let me just make sure I've got this right. So I'm full center left, default, no repeat, and it's on a cover. We would go to background overlay and we would kind of go and put like a dark color like that. And then we'd be doing this. Or we might even go for a lighter color, in fact, because of the wording. So let's go and do white instead. Okay. And we do this because we need to make out the wording over here. Can you see it's a bit of trans, very subtle transparency. But here's the two problems. First thing, we have the blue. Can you see the blue color that is bleeding through? You might go, well, that's okay. Or maybe not. You've got a bit of green bleeding through. You might be okay with that. But look at the person of interest. Completely washed out. 
And then you might go, well, okay, we could do a hard gradient instead. So you might do something like 60, uh, 60 like that. Let's go and make this be a uh, full on transparent. And then you go and change the angle like that or something. And again, you can get away with that, but I think you can be a little bit different and a little bit what I call imaginative because this is kind of slightly textbook -y now. We, we see this a lot. So here's what I would recommend you do. You would, uh, let me just pop this back to be about 50%. Instead of applying a color like this, instead what you would do is you would click on the image and you would now bring through what we just created. Can you see that it's all white except we got this transparency bit in the middle, well, to the right hand side. We now add that in. In fact, let me just get rid of this color because that's still present there. There we go. So can you now see what it's done? We get a square around the person of interest as I intended for it to look. What I would recommend you do is whatever settings you've done here, make sure you replicate that for the background overlay. So full center left, scroll, no repeat, cover. The great thing is, is that if you go for a one, you get full on white, you go down low, it disappears. And what you can do is find your sweet spot for what you want to do. And I'm going to go with 0 point, uh, not 0 point 0.8, in fact, 0 0.85 like that. So we can see the wording, but it's not fully on, full on clear. Right? I can see it. It's like I'm telling you leadership consultants. OK, that's not the company name. It's just like a it's like a header I'm putting out there, an impact. But then I feed you all the relevant stuff with elevate your business, blah, 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 and all of that stuff. And then you got your call to action button, accelerate your success and that fancy stuff. The aim of this hero banner is to allow you to still focus because now when you look here, you probably would have looked at this person anyway, but now I'm forcing you to focus on them. But I don't like the fact we can, we got a bit of green and a bit of blue. Okay. That is the reason why. I did a grayscale version. And when I select that, can you now see? The folder is still there. The people are still there. The plant is still there. The table, everything is grayed out. I've now proper forced your focus onto Mr. Whoever you are. Okay. You, you, that's your person of interest because that's the person who's going to be repeated. So when you have someone in an image and you've got to show them because it's their boxing. Um, website maybe, or maybe they're a snooker player or whatever, they're a consultant or a web designer, but there's other colors going on. Use the power of a background removal, overlay them and make the back background saturate it a bit. Take some of the color out a bit, maybe even blur it a bit because this background here is slightly blurred, almost like that cinematic effect. Um, not the bokeh effect, but the cinematic one. And if you don't know what I mean, go and grab your phone and go to cinematic effect and you'll understand that. And that's looking pretty okay. Look, you would obviously modify like this at the minute is at the top. So you might want to bring it down to the middle. You can rearrange it. You could, if you want, um, uh, add more to the image as well. You know, you can make the square a lot smaller. So maybe you would have gone like somewhere like that, just past the hand and maybe just dissecting over the hip area over there. You could have done that as well. But there's many ways you can bring the attention to the focal point. Let's now go and adjust this for the mobile because this is not going to look so great on the mobile, especially with the amount of words we got. Um, so let's just go over to responsive mode, go over to the mobile, and you can basically see what the problem is. Let's address some of that. Before we address the wording, let's just address the background images first. So we go to background and we are now going to pick a copy of our image. Now, here's where I recommend you go and add in copies of the background and the background overlay that you're using. So I'm going to go and pick those up. Let's go to the grayscale copied image first. And you got to make sure that whatever you do here, you do replicate for this image as well. So you got to be very sure of what you're doing. The first thing we're going to do is go into edit and we are going to scale this. Okay. So at the minute, this is a 1080 tall image. I'm going to change this to be 750 in height. And I'm now going to hit the scale there. When you've done that, I recommend you then hit the X and go out and then go back in again, because sometimes when you do scale, if you then start to crop while you're still viewing it, it reverts back to 1920 by 1080. And you can see here 133 by 750. Now we go back in to edit the image and this time we will now crop it. I'm gonna drag this over here a bit and leave the height at 750, but we're gonna change the selection to be 500. 
And this is where now I'm going to do something like this because I do want to see as much of the um, the wording, um, not the wording, as much. I want to have as much free space as I can. Otherwise, the wording's going to get cramped up a lot of bit. So I'm just going to stream that down to be about there. I'm going to make a note of the starting coordinate, which is 635. This is important, okay? Nice little feature that was missing uh, previously, but that's really important, 635. Then you hit apply crop, save edits. Now I'm going to go back in over to my transparent background thing, edit image, go over to scale. Same thing now, really. You just do 750, you hit the word scale. Let it do that. Hit the crop. Uh, we're going to drag this in. And now again, I'm going to do the same thing. So 500 and I'm going to move it. So we have exactly the same size and the same starting coordinate. Now let's go and bring all of those images into our actual mobile responsive view. So I'm going to select that. So that image will now come in. Sorry, the background. And let's just do it for the normal background. Let's bring that one in. When I go for center right, the person comes into view. I will apologize, they're not the sharpest person in terms of pixelation. I've now realized that when I brought the image over, because they're quite small in it, when you, when you focus and zoom in on them, they're going to be slightly blurred, but you will hopefully have a sharper image there. But what we now have is the person of interest. The only problem is, is that it is very, very tall. A lot of that is unfortunately caused by the wording at the moment. So let's go and address that before we start to modify. Now, I've already told you that my wording over here was, I think it was, yeah, it was 7 REM. We're going to shrink that down to be about, we're going to go with 2.5 REM, okay? So I don't mind if there's a bit of overlap. I'm going to go with a 2.4 REM. I'm now also going to make do the same for uh, my header. I'm going to make that be a 1.5 with about 180 right margin so the words don't cross over too much. Uh, and then for our text, I'm going to make that a 1 REM. And again, I'm going to give it about a 180 there. Um, I have realized, though, that the typography is a little bit too light. So I'm going to boost it up a little bit to be a 400. And our button, we're going to leave that as a typography 1. And as soon as we've done that, we can now make out the wording a lot better. Now, one thing I would obviously say, though, is make a note of all of the font sizes you've done here for your desktop and your mobile and then delete out all of the REM values. And what you really should do is go over to your typography, and go and pop pop in a font clamp calculation generator. So let me just make a note of my values. Always remember though to go back into your mobile and get rid of any REM or any values that you have entered if you are going to be applying a clamp calculation. Now for our button, everything remains at one REM, whether you're on the desktop or the mobile, so I don't need to touch that. To delete out all your values, then go back over to your desktop, go over to your uh, headers or text, go to typography, get rid of the REM there as well. And what you want to do is go and hit the pencil over here. And we're going to drop in a formula. The easiest way to do that is to use our clamp calculation generator. The link will be in the video description. If you're using Elemental, leave your root HTML as a 16. If you're using bricks, go and change this to be a number 10 because the root HTML there is a 10 basically. So let me just pop that back to be 16. Now I'm going to leave my minimum value as a 380 and my maximum as a 1100. That means that my size is when you hit the 380, it doesn't get any smaller. When you hit 1100, it does not get any taller. I'm going to change this to be REM like that. You can do it in pixel, it automatically converts it into REM with the formula here. So my minimum size for my header is going to be a 2 and the maximum will be a 7. I was going to go with 2.3 or 2.5 I think it was and I've reduced it down to a 2. We're going to grab that formula over here, pop it in, get rid of the curly bracket and the semicolon at the end of the formula, go to the start of the formula and get rid of everything before the word clamp. Great, that one is now done. Now let me do the second one. We won't go smaller than 1.5 and we won't go bigger than 2.5. And the formula has again modified for us. Super quick and easy to do this when you start getting into the habit of using clamp calculation. It just means that as you shrink and increase your screen size, the font will also automatically resize. And uh, well, I say automatically, it, it does it with the formula. But the beauty about that is that if you just set a size for desktop, tablet, mobile and another breakpoint and another breakpoint, you're going to get jumps. And if you can get it to size nicely, it is so much better. It's so it, 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 it's a beauty to behold when it works. OK, believe me. Right. Let me get rid of the 1.3 there. 
And in this one here, we went for a one as the smallest and the biggest was a 1.3. The formula has changed. We pick it up, we go over. It, you know, it, I mean, you could say I'm rushing this, but if you watch a lot of our other tutorials, you will have seen we're using this a heck of a lot now. So get rid of the semicolon and the curly bracket at the end, go to the beginning and everything before the word clamp, get rid of, go over to your mobile, it shrinks down. So the size as you increase and decrease the screen, it would have done. I haven't put in a tablet version of this because I'm just showing you the tutorial, but you would probably have another image that appears for the tablet as well. I tend to focus the most on desktop and mobile, but you get the idea. Now, when we go over to mobile, you can see here, we do still have our outline over here and we have got our wording. So you can just see here, it all kind of fits in quite nicely, but you may decide that it's still a little bit tall. I would just go over to your layout and you can now adjust the height of your container. So at the moment, the container was 645 or something. So if I shrink that down, we can still see the person of interest. We still have that outline. We still have the overlay. And, you know, if you felt like the overlay was too light, you must remember this, okay? If you go to background overlay and the opacity, why is the opacity 0.3? Did I put it at 0.3? Hold on a moment. No, it's 0.85. I did wonder that for a moment. On the mobile, it's 0.3. Just increase it to be 0.85. But you can adjust it. So you could, if you want, do this full on white like that, but you get to the desktop and it's still a background with a bit of transparency. So if you want to adjust it, you can just pop that back to 0.5 like that. So you can create bespoke hero banners where you have a focal point, but you almost like hide away a bit of that with a bit of ingenuity, I think. And I'm going to just drop into here a completely different image just to highlight again. Imagine this said interior design, okay? I've moved myself out the way and I know it's not the greatest image because like all I'm showing you is a bit of wall, but can you see how you could show off like something of interest? Like it could be architecture. It could be like uh, you're a painter or decorator. It could be a, a website design where you're working on a design and you've got this really amazing studio layout and you've got other staff. You could put the focus onto a team or members of a team. So it's a really clever way of how you can get across lots of info, but without like really bombarding with too much color and variety image. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And if you want to get this template, it is available in our Elemental website course, but you got to be part of the course to get the template. Hey, I'll see you soon. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life. No shame, there's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win a life, I never miss that.